Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we got some more gestures for you. So we did a video a couple weeks ago where we got into gestures, a three finger swipe and four finger tap and, and that sort of thing. And there's a couple more. And some of these um, we've actually covered in videos a while ago, but not on like all in one place connected together. So I thought, well, you know, these are still gestures too. Let's do another video. So this is more gestures you can use with SketchUp for iPad. Let's hop in. All right, so the whole idea behind gestures is you you do them with your your hand. You know, this is the the orbit zoom. It's all done with your hand, and that's that's the idea of a gesture. Uh, we do have one thing that happens here, which actually does happen with your pencil. So I just want to cover this real quick. You put an asterisk next to this. Is a it's a gesture kinda, and that is the tap. Right, if you tap your pencil twice. Apple knows that it's, it's a unique uh, note being sent to Apple or to your iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and start drawing a line. Right? I'm going to press to start drawing a line. I'm drawing a line and I want to get out of this command. If I double tap on the pencil, it abandons that command. It's the cancel command is double tapping. So right now I'm not doing anything. So tapping it now is not going to do anything. It's not going to like undo or anything like that. But if I'm in a command and I want to get out of it, uh, I can double tap because changing commands doesn't always leave the command you're in. In some cases it does. There's cases where I go from one command to another and it just throws everything I've been doing so far out. But in a lot of commands, you can switch commands and it, it, it won't take you out of what you're doing. So something to be conscious of. With that, we can get rid of our pencil because we're talking about gestures here. Real gestures, not gestures. So let's move on. All right, so one of the things that happens when you're working in here is, uh, you know, maybe you're here drawing with your pencil and then use your other hand to, to orbit and that kind of thing. If for whatever reason you, you drop your pencil or you forgot it or something like that, you want to draw with your hand. SketchUp for iPad does know the difference between just tapping and orbiting and when I want to actually start drawing. So I'm in the pencil command right now, and that is with a long press. So if I tap and hold right here, a little circle shows up along my fingertip right there. At this point, I'm drawing instead of orbiting. Uh, this, I'll be honest, this catches me out every once in a while because sometimes I start a command and then I stop and I think for a second and then I keep going. And if I do that with orbiting, so my intention is to orbit like this, but I'll click and then I'll, okay, now I want to move. And oh, shoot, I, I clicked in too long and now it thinks I'm drawing. Not a bad thing, just something to be conscious of that when you want to go in an orbit, click your touch your finger to the screen and move. Don't hold it there because if you do, whatever command you're in, it's going to start just as if you had tapped the pencil. All right, so now I've got some lines on my screen, and this is another gesture I want to take a look at. It's the two finger tap. So if I come tap anywhere on the screen with two fingers, Whatever I did last is going to go away. So I'm going to hit, go away, hit again, and I'm going to lose that other line. So to bring it back is a three finger tap. Three finger tap, bring my line back, two finger tap, get rid of my line. Undo, redo. Great way to do it. Again, uh, you can do this with your you know, pencil over here. If I'm, if I'm using this hand to do gestures, that can be in charge of undo, redo, or I could even do it with my pencil, right? Tap, tap. Um, a little bit of practice, you know, a little finger workout, get used to moving that pencil around like a magician, you know, tap. So uh, two taps for undo, redo. They are up here, so it's not like it's super far away, but if you're in the flow of things, just like shortcut keys, moving your hand or your pencil or your stylus off of what you're working on can be time consuming. So something to think about there. Um, a couple things too, when we go in, let's talk about editing or, or selecting real quick. So if I go into select gestures again, so no pencil, if I come in and tap on a thing, it selects. If I double tap, it selects the face along with the edges that define it. If I triple tap, it selects everything connected to that, that face I'm tapping on. This again, another gesture, single tap, double tap, like, like the mouse clicks. But there is one thing that's different and that is if it's a group. So if I'm in select and I double tap on a group, it goes into that group. So right now I'm actually inside there. 
So unlike this, it's gonna select the face. If I double tap here, it's gonna go into context and I'm actually working then inside the group. Just another spot that you can use, uh, you know, gestures to quickly jump through and work in your model. So those were all the gestures that I came up with um, between this video and the last video. So do me a favor, watch that last video, which was just called gestures. And then this video, well, if you're here, you've already done that. And let me know if there's a gesture that you think I missed. It's possible that you're watching this in the future. And I looked in the crystal ball and didn't see a new gesture that was coming up. So, you know, if there's a new gesture, go ahead and list that too, for people who watch this with future you. Uh, otherwise, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the gestures? Is there one I missed? What one do you like using? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.